From the outside, the 1LE's exteriors bark more than matches its bite. With aggressive styling up front, which includes not only a pronounced front lip, but also mid-bumper canards, and of course the flow tie, a hollow Chevrolet emblem to increase airflow to the engine, this Camaro does a brave yet elegant job of setting itself apart from the pack. To the rear, we find a carbon fiber rear wing, functional of course, which although some might find ostentatious, it is functional. Although I could do without the X decal, it is reportedly removable. Speaking of the bark matching the bite, the 1LE has the same power plane as a standard ZL1, which is the LT4, a cast aluminum 6.2 liter V8 block with matching cast aluminum head, supercharged and intercooled, churning out an impressive 650 horsepower and gives you a double feature with a matching 650 foot pounds of torque. Unlike the standard ZL1, the 1LE is only available with the Tremec MH3 6-speed manual transmission, but also unlike the standard ZL1, the 1LE weighs in just a tad lighter than its standard counterpart at just over 3,800 pounds, allowing the 1LE to hurl itself forward to 11.7 second quarter mile at 123 miles per hour and a very respectable 3.6 seconds 0 to 60. With the power and matching aerodynamics to cut through the air at up to a reported 190 miles per hour, we can't continue until we mention one of the most important things, what keeps the car plane into the ground. The 1LE variant takes a page from the book of the fifth generation Z28 and makes use of the Multimatic DSSV dampers, also known as spool valve shocks. You might ask, what's so special about the suspension? Well, to give you an idea, the ZL1 1LE shares the same type of suspension as the Aston Martin 177, the Aston Martin Vulcan, and the new Ford GT, and also every current F1 car. The suspension includes variables that you can tweak, such as the front ride height, plus or minus up to 10 millimeters, adjustable front camber, and the ability to adjust the anti-roll bar in the rear to neutral, oversteer, or understeer. While the suspension is impressive, it doesn't lend itself to being a rather enjoyable ride, and you'll find yourself feeling and hearing every bump and crack on the road. Moving further down the car, the 1LE comes standard with staggered tires with 305 3019s in the front and a massive 325 3019 in the rear. Now, how big is the 325 tire? This is a standard yardstick. 325 millimeters comes in at just over 12 and 3 quarter inches. The brakes are also impressively large with 15.35 inch rotors and matching six piston monoblock calipers in the front and the rear sports 14.4 inch rear rotors with four piston fixed calipers, giving the 1LE a 60 to zero braking distance of just 91 feet. The interior, even though the 1LE is touted as a track version of the ZL1, is actually fairly decent. While most would expect more when paying anywhere from 70 to 80 thousand US dollars for a brand new car, this isn't for those looking for an ultra luxurious ride. The red seat belts and matching actions do a great job of screaming race me, and when you get into the 1LE, that's exactly what you're gonna wanna do. It does include the modern features that nearly every vehicle has, and does come equipped with Chevrolet's MyLink entertainment system. So it's not barren, but if you're looking for Rolls-Royce amenities, you're looking in the wrong place. Overall, the 1LE does exactly what it's intended to do. It's loud, it's fast, and most importantly, it's livable. While smashing on the accelerator will net you less than 10 miles per gallon, as is expected, you'll be doing it with a smile on your face the entire time. I'll be doing a follow-up video where we hit the street in this black beauty, as well as revisiting it after the new parts are installed, which include a full exhaust, smaller pulley, tune, and more. One of the things I'd like to incorporate in my videos is speaking with the owners about their cars, funny stories, things that they might like or dislike, and I'd love for you to be here when those come up. Now, I know I can just ask you to press the thumbs up and subscribe, but let me leave you with a few little pieces of what's coming up next.